Hey there. In this video I'm going to talk about pain and I'm going to share with you my own personal approach to dealing with pain and my philosophy on the, the whole mechanism of pain in ourselves. Pain is a important warning signal which calls us to action. It's something telling us that we need to do something to solve the situation. We put our hand on something hot, the pain tells us it's time to withdraw that hand. The pain warned us, we acted upon it, and the situation was improved. My experience is that this is almost always the case. And I believe that there's a lot more behind ongoing pain caused by an injury or by a illness than is immediately apparent. If you examine your experience of discomfort in your body, you'll notice that there are many things that can affect how much you experience this. So if you're very distracted, you can override pain, you can override hunger or thirst or discomfort in some other way temporarily because there's a part of your deep mind, your subconscious that knows this isn't the time to be telling you about this, you need to do something else. Likewise, often, if you can't find a way of solving a problem that's causing discomfort, your body will stop telling you about it. It will give you a while without hunger, a while without that ache. Perhaps realising that if you haven't acted upon this, there really isn't anything you can do at this moment. However, if you don't take action, the signal will normally come back. I've found that if I injure myself, let's imagine I have an, an injured elbow, for example. If I injure myself, that pain will appear as a reminder. And this can partly be a reminder to be careful with that injury. But I've found that I experience far less pain if I view that pain as a call for healing. So the first thing I do if I experience any pain in the body is I send healing to it. I imagine with each breath there's a healing light going to that bodily area to the exact area where the pain is, as if the pain is calling the healing to it. And I visualise clearly and with a positive intent all the area there improving, repairing and regenerating. And I've actually found that almost immediately the pain starts to disappear. That's, it's quite amazing how responsive it is to that. But I also use this pain as a call to action. So if we can imagine the pain we're experiencing as an ally reminding us of a problem, asking for help, you can imagine how if we listen to it, it doesn't have to shout so loud. So if I've got an injury which is associated with posture, I'll make sure my posture is correct and I'm using that body part the right way. I'll make sure I'm protecting it. If I know that massage will help, I'll massage that area. If I've got rehabilitation exercises, I'll make sure that I do those. If there's a specific change, whether it be I need to be more disciplined with rehabilitation exercise or I need to improve the way I rest uh, the 
uh, injured body part, I will do that. And I've found that if I respond with specific results, normally the pain will hardly be there. If, however, I just treat it as a signal that's stuck on and just try to override it or forget about it, I experience a lot more pain. If I don't get a response from specific measures, if I send healing, I massage there, I exercise it, I make a firm dedication to some improvement and the pain signal keeps coming, I'll look at more non-specific improvements to my life. I will create the ideal environment for healing. I make sure I've got the right diet, I make sure I've got good rest, make sure I've got healthy regenerating exercise, make sure I've got the right people, the right approach. I'll make sure that adjustments that lead to the best possible chances of healing are in place. Normally, if I do all this, the pain will only come back now and again as a reminder uh, to look after it and to be gentle. For this reason, I believe there's a part of our, our deep mind, our subconscious, which keeps reminding us of pain from illness or injury to try to ask us to do something. So just like it asks us to move our hand out of the fire, the pain is asking for more complex things. It's asking for an adjustment of posture, asking for a change of your health regime, maybe asking for some specific medication or some specific therapy. By listening to the pain and being friends uh, with the pain, I find things work far better and I can allow myself to be led uh, down the ideal route of recovery. Now here's where it gets very interesting. I found the same approach works for emotional pain. If I find myself regretting something or going over something from the past or missing someone who I can't see anymore or who has passed away. I look at that and I apply the whole same process. I send healing. So if it's somebody that I care about, I could imagine them in the best possible position in life, learning the lessons they need to learn in life. Imagine the barriers to their development, to their thriving, to their happiness disappearing. I wish them well and then let go. Normally the pain then disappears, just like it does with the body. If it doesn't, then I'll look for something specific. What is it that I know helps with this? Could it be that a firm resolution is needed? So if I'm feeling regrets over something, do I need to be sure that I will never repeat such a mistake? If there's something which is haunting me from the past, some hard experience, is there a lesson in there? Is there uh, something that needs to happen uh, to help heal this? If specific changes don't help, I'll look for non-specific changes. Maybe I need more time to let my mind just uh, be free. Maybe I need to involve myself in more artistic endeavours or creative pursuits. Maybe I need to extend my meditation. Maybe I need to be more out in nature. And with this route, I found that emotional pain, just like physical pain, leads me to healing. So by listening to the pain, responding with positive action, I have found that this is the best route to healing for me. Now I share this with you with pure good intentions. This is an approach that I've only ever used myself and have never explained to anyone else before. 
and I'm aware that people have greater challenges than I, both in terms of physical pain and emotional hardship. I would be very grateful for anyone using this approach if they would share in the comments section below if it helped them and if there are any further improvements they can suggest. And with this method I believe we can all learn to find healing through pain and develop our understanding of this mechanism together. My name is Martin Folks, and I hope that this video has been of help to anyone who's looking for a positive approach to dealing with pain in their life.